Well, hello Crafty Cuties. Welcome back to Paper Terrace. And if you're new, I'm Jessica. Today we are talking all about using fabric in and on our journals. And I'm going to go over five easy ways that you can incorporate fabric into your journals. These are going to be things that you have seen me do for a long time if you've been around. And a lot of these ideas are pretty basic because I want you to be able to take this idea not be overwhelmed with it and make it your own. I also quickly want to mention because a lot of people do say, well, you know, I want to use like vintage fabrics, but that can be expensive. Where can I get it? So I have a few tips on that as well. I personally like to use a good mix of fabrics and I'm not picky about my fabrics on most projects, but what I like to do is just what I said. I like to have a mixture of fabrics. So in this giant goodness, pile here you will see that I feel like everything kind of just like goes together um, overall but what you don't know is that these ones right here are from Amazon and they are very inexpensive and I feel like they're a good quality and a great way to get tons of prints um, you know in one big bundle but then you can see that I also have tons of gorgeous uh, vintage fabrics in here as well, which are definitely some of my favorites to use. And I have slowly gathered this much fabric over the years. And um, one really inexpensive way to buy vintage fabrics is to buy like a vintage sheet. You don't only have to do this online. You can probably find these at thrift shops or Goodwills and you get so much fabric for the money. But I also have a few favorite shops and they don't know I'm talking about them, but Little Cotton Cottage and Amore Fabrics, which I'm gonna put down below because they have really great selections of vintage, real vintage fabrics um, at a great cost. So now that we've got that out of the way, um, again, I just think it's important to use what you have. It doesn't have to be vintage. As long as you like it, I think that you will be able to work with it just fine. And we're just gonna hop right in. I think we're gonna start with my favorite idea. These are some of the things that I made before um, doing the video and I'm gonna show you how to create this really cute little fabric envelope so you can use this in so many different ways in your journal you could just put it down as is put a picture in the middle or something like that but the fun thing is, is if you glue it down you can flip it up and you can use the pocket um, and you can use this same idea for all kinds of different things that you want to use it as, if that makes sense. But we're going to get started and I'm just going to take an envelope here. Thanks to Pamela for sending me so many envelopes. My favorite Ikea scissors that I get lots of questions about. And we're just going to go right in and I'm going to just basically cut up pieces of fabric. Now these projects are so great if you already have fabric scraps because then you can just use what you have. But I'm kind of starting from scratch as if maybe you're just getting started. So I'm going to use a mixture of my non-vintage fabrics and vintage. And I'm just going to cut out some little shapes here. I'm not really measuring these. I just, I don't want it to exactly look like patchwork, but I just want to have, I kind of want it to actually look like I'm using scraps of fabric, I guess. But you can do this as neat as you want or as specific, however you want. And the fun thing about this kind of project is you can easily tailor this to whatever project you're working on if you have like a certain color scheme or something that you want to stick to. Okay, let's just start with these. And I am going to just start by gluing them down in no particular order. And I do like to use my Tombow Mono Aqua Glue that I use for everything, but I really like it for fabrics. Now, you can also sew on these projects. Um, all the projects, projects I'm showing you right now are going to be no sew, but that's just to make it kind of easier for if you don't have a sewing machine. But I always think that adding sewing detail to any project definitely makes it pop just a little bit more, so... Keep that in mind and I'm just going to be putting these down I don't want them to look exactly perfectly placed so I'm gonna leave some of the strings that are hanging off 
and again you can do whatever you like best in this instance <laughs> you could also easily incorporate um, different trims and laces I just kind of wanted to keep this video like all about just fabrics but hey maybe in the future I'll also do five ways to use laces or trims in your journals I mean shoot now that I've said it I probably have to <laughs> and I'm going to show you a couple ways that we can make this look even better in just a moment but I also like it as is I just need one more little strip at the top so you can see how this project would definitely work nice if you already have scraps And I'm not really even paying attention to the colors on this project because I sort of like the mismatched look for sure. Okay, I want one more little piece up in the corner and I feel like I want it to be like a darker, maybe a blue. I should have put a, actually here, I, you know what I, I think I know what I'll do. I want to put a little square of blue on the opposite corner up here just to kind of I don't know I feel like it balances it out a little bit to have the darker in the corners like that but then I also want a nice little pop of green I think this is another Amazon fabric um, I actually had I think I did a video haul when I got those fabrics because I was so blown away I think it was like $10 for 50 uh, fabric swatches or they're like 8 by 8 size so they're a really good size as well. Okay so you can leave it like this and I just think it's such a cute base for anything or even just looks great on its own. Now the next thing that I wanted to show you real quick is on this one I embossed it and it's awesome if you have more just like plain colored um, fabrics to incorporate because then you'll really see that embossing as you can see I used a little ink to make it pop but it makes the back look perfect too so I'm just going to bring my uh, machine over here I just used my cuddle bug or nope just kidding my Sizzix that's right this is my newer one <laughs> and I have this newer embossing folder here it's like floral and I think it looks great I probably should wait for this to dry. I'm not exactly sure if that's gonna do something, but we're just gonna go for it. I'm gonna pop it in here. And I am not at the best angle for this, so I'm gonna have to, actually, let me <laughs> come around this way. Then, then we'll be done with this one and we will move on to the next. You guys have really, seemed to like this style of video and I'm having so much fun with it and I still have just so many more ideas. So the reveal, let's see how this looks. Ooh, that really embossed it nicely. And so I don't know if you can see on camera, but you can absolutely see the embossing onto the fabric as well and I think it's such a cool look because it's just a little bit different. Now, sometimes if you have an envelope, that's older or you're using glue like I am and didn't let it dry the flap will get kind of smashed down so just keep that in mind I'm going to keep that up now while it dries but now I can just put this straight into a journal and um, let's see I have one here just to kind of give you an idea what it looks like let's just use the back of this page and see I could just place it down like that and then it will be a flip like this. And of course, if you want to do the same idea on just a blank piece of paper and have it be more like a journaling card, that is another great option. But let's move on to number two. And this is, they're all just simple, like I said, but this is a pre-made fabric tab. And these are so much fun, again, to just have peeking out your journal. And these are just so easy to make up ahead of time. And if I didn't mention, let me just show you that right there. I think it just adds so much. I love it. And you can make them bigger, smaller, whatever. Um, but yeah, if I did not mention, I am actually making some of the items that you're seeing here for my March Patreon goodies. And gosh, I actually just got like eight new Patreon members in the last week. And I couldn't tell you how 
how much I appreciate it because it is very much needed, this extra support right now, and I just am in love. Okay, anyways, so let's get back to the project. We are going to start out with, again, it could be another scrap piece of fabric. I'm not measuring, but you just need a little rectangle. And then you can just fold it in half to get an idea of, you know, what size you're working with. And then what I like to do is I actually like to just layer on a few other pieces of fabric because I think that it just gives such a fun look here and you can be intentional if you want like I just noticed there's a little blue flower here so I'm just gonna actually cut that entire flower out but you can layer on lace or trim on this as well but we're just gonna kind of go like that um, I guess I did sew this one, but like I said, I'm going to keep this no sew. You could glue these. I know that my trusty aqua mono glue would work just fine. So I'm just going to put a little thing down like that, like that. I actually think I want to go ahead and put a little bit more fabric layered on here. Let's grab this little pink number. It's like super light. Pink. Okay, and I think just have a little strip of it kind of going across. I was thinking about using my staple here, but let's see. And yeah, this when this glue dries, I've never had an issue with things coming apart. I just have to use it for everything. But I think I'm gonna like the look of the staple, so I'm just gonna go. Boop. Oop. choose however you like best to you know finish that off and then for these if you're pre-making them you can absolutely just store them folded or you can if you are sewing them sometimes I will sew just at the top so just like I did with this one I just did a stitch right across the top and then it just leaves you with these two pieces open just ready to put onto your journal however you want but a lot of times I'll just kind of fold these in half and store it like that and then it's ready to go and again this is this would be such a fun thing to add um, in your pen pal mail which is probably something I will be doing again for my patreon members at least some of the tiers there you go so you can kind of see that's peeking out that's probably not the best spot but there we go and it just pops out and it's so cute so I love making these and I'm excited that I will be making a bunch more very soon okay so let's head on to number two um, I am gonna go ahead and bring up the patchwork pocket just again so simple couldn't be any simpler and for this one I kind of like to have um, some paper as a base. I mean, you can see how to make this. I don't exactly have to do a tutorial for it, but you know what? We're, we're just here. We're going to do it together because it's fun. And I'm just going to cut out. Now, just you can decide how big you want to pocket. Now, if you are pre-making these, I just tend to make them really any size that would fit into anywhere between um, three to five inches across is great and then one to three inches tall like it's just totally up to you for this I am actually going to grab out just a couple that I like and so I'm just going to cut little strips and then cut out squares that I'm not measuring because I just don't care if it's you know perfect okay so I'm just using a basic piece of paper this is like printer paper kind of thing it's super thin I like to keep it really inexpensive whenever I'm using something like as a base. And so anyways, we're just gonna, this is kind of the fun part and you can do this while you're watching TV. It's really mindless. And I am just trying to stack these together as kind of as close as I can. And then I will try to mix up and not try to have two of the prints right next to one another, but I'm fine with them being like diagonal. I think that looks fine. And then I'm gonna go ahead. You can do the same thing here and emboss this as well. I just kind of wanted to keep that for just one idea, just to give you an idea of what that would look like. But again, I will grab my journal here, just 
find a quick spot for it right here. And so all I would do to glue this down is put some glue on all three edges like that. And then you have the cutest little pocket. Now, if you want to pre make this into a full on functioning pocket, like if you're making it for someone, you could absolutely just take two layers. And this is probably what I would do for my like Patreon members. Instead of just having the single page, I would actually make a pocket. And so I would glue just quickly, you know, just to show you. I would, so I'd actually fold a paper and then I would have those sides glued. And then you have a full on like floating pocket and it will be easier for the recipient to glue it down anywhere and they can just glue the whole back on versus just knowing where to glue. And then you would just decorate the front just like I did right there. And so then you'll have your pocket ready to go, ready to go. So with that idea, that was number three. Number four, little fabric snippets. You can use these in so many different ways. And again, we're just gonna start out a piece that I call a base. And sometimes I'll just use up my muslin fabric or in it more inexpensive fabric for the base, but just for this one, I'm gonna go like this. And then I like, I actually just like to layer on different fabrics. I mean, all of these projects are just so similar to one another, but it's like you get a different outcome. And that is kind of the fun of being able to use so many different ideas with just one item if i mean if i'm even making sense and so you can just kind of figure out what you like and then again for this one i glued but it's always going to look awesome with sewing detail and again adding buttons would look amazing adding any kind of little embellishment to finish it off also but this is kind of giving you an idea for a base you know what i don't like that piece i had so much so Let's see, to finish it off, I think we will, let's cut out like an actual little flower here. Yes, there we go. Now I'm loving it. And little snippets, if you're wondering, I mean, I make these all the time and I personally love to either add these just on a page yeah, I even have like snippets all in my journal. Um, you could just put them on the page for a decoration. You could put them on the flap of an envelope, which I really love doing that because then it looks like a little closure. I think this actually is an envelope in here. Yep, so like that. Um, or you could add it like on next to a picture or something, a main thing that's going in your journal. So we are gonna move on to number five, the last, and that's going to be a fabric journal. Now I have several around, but we're gonna make one together just like super quick. Like this is one example. Of course, this one has a closure, but I think you get the point. It is just using fabric, one piece of fabric in our journal or on our journals as a main thing. And I am going to do this very quick because I already have full journal tutorials, but just to give you an idea, we are going to use this right here. And I'm going to cut this down because I actually want this to be a smaller journal, like five inches tall. And along with all of these ideas, even though I'm giving you five ideas, I kind of wanted to quickly say that also fabric tags and fabric journal journaling cards are some of my top faves to make with fabric. You can just use like one fabric or you can use lots of fabrics. And so I had to toss that in just as like, it's kind of an obvious thing, but all of these I think are. And sometimes when you're in a crafting bind, those things aren't actually as obvious as you would think. Well, I was trying to avoid having to edit anything and my camera turned off and that has not happened in forever. So anyways, here we go. I'm gonna just add glue to my entire journal cover this is such an easy way to do a fabric journal cover and i'm just gonna kind of smooth it out a bit if you have a more sheer fabric this definitely helps not have any like glue marks come through but in my experience any glue marks usually dry out especially with this glue and you can't actually like see any and then i'm just going to cover the entire 
thing like this and smooth it out the best I can. It's gonna be super cute. Now, if you're using a really sheer fabric and you do have maybe like images on both sides, you can first cover your journal in like a darker fabric. I usually like to do a muslin fabric because it's inexpensive. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of trim around as you saw me just do, and I'm going to also cut the corners at an angle like so. And my other favorite type of fabric journal is a patchwork journal, so it's basically kind of the same idea, you know, as this design, but as a full journal cover. And if you guys want to see a full tutorial on how to do that, I will link below one of my more favorite um, patchwork journal tutorials. So now I am just simply gluing the fabric around the edges. I like to start with the two shorter ones and I'm just going to wrap that around as tight as I can. And then we'll come over here and I'm going to do the same thing. And like I said, I'm just making the journal cover for this little demo since you get so many ideas in one video but then you can just go ahead and add your pages inside and this is just one of the easiest ways that i have found to make a fabric journal cover and i mean it just looks so nice and put together and i mean wasn't that quick of course it's a little mini journal but i actually think this is super cute so i really hope that you guys got some inspiration or some ideas in this video and i would love to hear from you and tell me what you're excited to make um again these are all basic ideas but i love to see you guys take these basic ideas and make them your own so feel free to tag me on uh, any social media if you end up making something that you were inspired to make from this video I would love to see that and until next time guys. I will see you later. Have a lovely day. Bye